Fighting out of the blue corner, Raphael the Turn Alvin. Wow, 80% the favorite. Yeah, very heavily favored by our karate token holders in this bout. Hailing from Belém in Brazil. Started uh, training Muay Thai, Capoeira. He's been doing karate since he was seven years old. But he's had a, a lot of highlight moments in his UFC career. Last fought for them about a year ago, February 2023. In the welterweight class at 165. Fighting out of the red corner, Efren. Headshot in Mexico, Escudero! Well, Efren Escudero, he is originally from Mexico, but he was raised in Somerton, Arizona. He's been living there since seven years old. A lot of wrestling heavy in his background. He's one of the first Mexican fighters to fight for both the UFC and Bellator. But he did wrestle to a D1 collegiate level as well. So there is Taylor the Tape for the 33-year-old debutant Rafael Alves. Majority of his striking background coming from Muay Thai. I asked him what, what would be the game plan from your uh, opponent. What would they tell him? He says, it is not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> Efrain Escudero, he's going to carry a little bit of a reach advantage into the pit tonight. He's also carrying an experience advantage, 32 and 17 is this man's professional fighting record coming into the pit tonight. 50 fights versus 33 fights. Escudero's what, favored 80% in this yeah. fight? Is that oh, what Alves. it is? How do they, how do they, uh, oh, Alves. Oh, sorry, Alves, sorry. Yeah. sorry. How, do they, how do they select odds for a, a double so debut that, fight like this? So th that is purely what our token holders think. That means 80% of the people put their tokens on Alves to win. Well, let's see if they're right. <laughs> All the way back, all the way back. Well, Mike Beltran, your referee for the opening bout of our main card tonight. Download the Karate Combat, vote live iOS and Android apps today to collect your 88 free karate tokens so you can help run the league and play up only gaming for Karate Combat's next event. Escudero, I expect some takedowns here to take him out of his game because he's a great wrestler. Yeah, and we've seen in fights before Whoa. that, you know, they can do some real damage. Wow. Interesting little kick there. I love that little sweep thing. Oh, they connected already the cross. And another oh, one, jab, the jab landed. landed as well. And he found that target while he was moving out of the way. That was nice. Yeah, they're going to need a lot of head movement, a lot of bob and weaving from Escudero to find his way in. Man, great hands. Great distance, good moving backwards. Look at that, how smart he did that. That is, oh! oh! Spinning wheel kick, kick just stop misses. Stop. And Escudero stop, leans stop, on his stop. wrestling to try and push him back against the pit wall. But as soon yeah. as Alves hits the ground, he's considered downed and they get stood back up again. Yeah, Alves has got the capoeira background. And that's why we see those crazy kicks. And those kicks, they have a lot of velocity. Once that hits, that's it. Yeah, so Fight much over. momentum in the arc of that heel. And, and he will get, do backflips while he's fighting. The guy's insane. <laughs> Look at the power. Oh, yeah. You see the concussive force went straight through the guard of Escudero. But Escudero is the Mexican. He just comes in there, keeps coming. Oh, oh. everything is hard. Yeah. Alves You've... looking really good here in the <laughs> opening. We said he hit midside, and we feel that kick. You felt it, uh, right? I felt the vibration. Yeah. Watch the clutch. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta, you gotta breathe a sigh every time it misses. Ooh. Tries to kick through to the following leg. Yeah, that, that's a dangerous kick because when you lift your leg, your, your calf is relaxed and then the, the kick will go straight through. It's very dangerous, you gotta watch out, you might break uh, one. Escudero has backed him up against the, the he, corner of the pit here. He's not scared, he's going right in for it, trying to make 20% of people very happy tonight. But, but I don't understand why he's not going for a takedown. He's got great wrestling, you know, get inside his head. At least shoot a few takedowns and then you can start faking and throwing punches. Yeah, he does a good job of tying Stop. up there, but there's no Stop level right. change in this. The thing with the Stop. clinch in karate combat is you have to immediately execute nice the, the takedown attempt. Oh, oh those man. shots from Look Alves. Look at that kick, the shin. 
Yeah, Full power and, and Bass, we've got to talk about the, the timing as well, because he mixed up the tempo oh. of the, the shots there as well. This is, oh. listen, guys, this could be the end of the oh, yeah, he's, he's already, already Olympic. I mean, you don't hear the impact. That means yeah. it's clean with the shin. That lead leg is getting punished. Oh, oh yeah, that's yeah. going to be it. That's his bread and oh, butter. Oh, and the knee. Oh, and he's hurt here. Big combination from Alves. Wow. Escudero is absolutely rocked, and he can barely put weight on the leg. Gotta do something heroic here. Yeah, well, Man. Alves has enough experience to just tie him up there and well, we're gonna see out the first round. Well, he's you see the way he's walking now, Escudero, he's feeling those kicks. So that's why 80% of the people bet on Alves. <laughs> now okay. you see, there's a few yeah. smart cookies in our, our voting well, it's uh, token scient holders. It's scientific, these guys got skin in the game, you know? You see, and I love that this was my, well, he's way faster. But this was my style. I, I tried to do the same things in everything power. No jabs, no nothing. Whatever you throw, throw it with vengeance. Try to knock him out. Make him scared of everything. And that's what he's doing. But Escudero oh, staying better. in the fight. <laughs> yeah, he keeps coming forward, but he's uh, he's really getting the wind sucked out of him, metaphorically and physically here. You got to wonder how he's doing with the altitude as well. <laughs> it's been a while since we mentioned that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. I saw I saw the chat mentioning we're going to start taking a shot every time they say altitude or elevation. We don't want that to happen. Let's not do that. You'll have a bad night. Yeah. You'd be like Craig Jones. Alves, the dream knockout kick would be a kick to the body, to the liver. Well, he's certainly capable of it so far. It was a fantastic first round for the Brazilian. Let's see how he fares in the second here. Touch of gloves. He's being underway for three more minutes. He's going to chop that leg immediately. Watch. Ugh. I would just set it up. Long left hook. Back. Another low kick. Escudero should go for takedowns. Yeah, switching a stance yeah, there from Escudero. Smart, smart. Even out the pain a little bit. Oh. oh, yeah. Well, now it's time to look down and make it a high kick with that right. Oh, oh those punches have that so lead much power. That's what I'm saying. Everything is hard. He doesn't seem flustered. He doesn't seem to be breathing heavy. He's, seems like he's totally oh. in the zone, and he oh, jumps the guillotine. <laughs> That's an automated uh, reflex. Went back to his old profession. Yeah. But that takedown might be the only only thing he's got. But you know, power of you can use that a lot to get inside his head because then you fake one, brings his hands down, poof, come on the top of the overhand. And that's better work from Escudero now as he pushes. <laughs> nice cross there by Escudero. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, big oh. jumping knee gets picked ah. up and slammed. Stand up. Good catch by Escudero. Yeah, still very wobbly on that lead leg as yeah. we approach the halfway point. Nice uppercut, Escudero. Throwing with the rear hand, I love that. See, there's the champ, boss. Yep. It's either going to help him or it's going to hurt him. He's going to get too hyped up, maybe. Well, with f 50 fights, he knows exactly how to deal with this. He oh, can little switch him. step. That was nice. Yeah. That's it, the Bang Muay Thai system, guys. <laughs> we love that. Escudero is connecting with some of those shots, though. Oh, I, I love these shots from uh, Alves. Oh, nice jab. I don't oh. know why he stopped with the gas Oh, kicks. and the, and the power bomb on the way down. I, I need to see a replay of that little step-in sweep. The situation awareness from Escudero was nice, right? With, when he threw that punch down, said he right away took his back. <laughs> <laughs> if only that counted for something here. A minute left on the clock here, and it looks like the pace for Alves is starting to slow a little bit. We've already seen this once tonight. Th these fights could turn on a dime. But why doesn't he go after the leg? That's my question here. Well, he's getting gas. You could tell Alves is resting against that wall. Yep. I mean, I mean, is, is stamina the main deciding factor here? If Escudero stays in the fight because he's got the stamina, yeah, that hurts Alves a lot. Yeah, and he's got the heart too. And you can see Alves is visibly... And the, the corner of... Escudero of uh, Escudero is saying, telling get him, him, get yeah. him now. They're saying now. the momentum's coming your way. Yep. 20 and seconds left in this second round. Oh, oh what? Boss, what was that? A I jumping, no rolling room. thunder off the pit wall. I mean, that had to hurt Alves more than. <laughs> that was crazy. And again, no clue why he stops kicking. Yeah, it's, it's perplexing, right? Yeah, because you maybe two, three kicks, that's it. It's the end of the fight. I mean, his, his corner's got to be telling him to go back to that lead leg. Yeah. Hey, Josh, now might be a good time to tell the, the people at home when those influencer fights are happening and when to watch them. I know there's a lot of people 
who are uh, who are interested in seeing that tonight. Yeah, we do have our influencer fight card coming up later as a separate stream of the the end of this fight after they've concluded. So, all of you crypto folks, uh, I know you're excited to get in on the action there. Head over to social media, pick up where you can catch those bouts this evening. A lot of crypto bros in the audience tonight. Let's see if we can see in the slow motion that crazy freaking kick that he was doing. I know, unfortunately it was right in front of us, so I didn't quite get to see the setup. This was the knee to the, the slam, and I should reiterate, this, this floor is not soft. Darn. No. You don't want to get dropped here, you're going to cough up a lung, as I always say. <laughs> and that's a bad thing. Escudero got a hand down from his opponent. From his oh, we're going to get a quick replay before we start the third round. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's unreal. Acrobat. Acrobat. Oh. I told you, he's going to do backflips. He does everything. Boss, can you do that? No. That's why I said he does it better than I. <laughs> so third and final round underway here, and you wonder if that was enough recovery go. time. Right back to that lead leg. His yep. corner probably told him to get after he's it. Set it up. Yep. And I because feel like he's going to go back to it now. Most time on the left hook, and a guy like Escudero, he will stop, stand still. That's when you land the kick. I mean, that's just a problem with strategy. He saw that lead leg was gone after the first round. He should have stuck with it. That's it. You see it sometimes. He'll just abandon the winning, the winning approach to do front flips. And yeah, or maybe he got hit in the back, or something happened that made him change that game plan. Yeah, you know, I like Mike Tyson. Oh, look at that. That's a beautiful thing. I love that kick. I tell my students because there's no telegraphic. What he's doing is. Keep your toes his right foot, right toes outside, so there's no hip movement. The, the last low kick that he threw to the calf actually got checked really heavily on, That's on the front kick. of his foot, and I wonder if... Oh, there he's he is. That was one oh, kick. He's, oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Now he knows. There he there goes. We go. there Again, goes. all the way through, but Escudero continuing to come forward. Stop, stop. A, a brief chance for ground and pound goes awry for him there. I mean, if you're Alves, now you know you got to start going after that leg. Beat up. Yep, but he needs to set it up. He needs to set up with strikes, head strikes. Yeah, and, and he's got to be careful because time is ticking away here. Three minute rounds do go incredibly fast sometimes if the pace slows a little bit. Oh, he's looking down. He might look for a high kick. He's looking down at the leg when he uh, faints. So that might be a head kick. Do you think he's faking? Yeah. If they really look down, normally never, you never want to do that. You look at the <laughs> chest. So most of the time that's a setup. Well, Escudero is, the volume has drastically decreased here as he dances around the outside and Escudero hunts him down and lands one. And yep. I gotta say, Alves has to be really careful here. This round is absolutely going the way of the Mexican. Yes, and he's doing again a great job, landing across. Oh, 50 seconds. Time is ticking, tick tock, tick tock. 20% of those betters right now are feeling like yeah. they might have yeah, their nightmare. Gonna, well, Let's I mean, at, at this rate, it's going to come down to that second round and, and who won the, the, the middle third of this fight. And, and the first, was it the 10-8? Uh, no, I right? think, I, no, I think the first was very clearly a, a good round for Alves. But not a 10-8. No, no. It, I think it's going to come down to who won the second round at this rate. This Final 30 seconds of this bout. Another slam. 20 seconds, wow. Al Alves has got to open up here. To see, you know, yeah, the capoeira kick again. Yeah, tried the capoeira kick. That was the last one. very aware. He's got great awareness. Very He's aware. catching a lot of that stuff. And it's what I always say, you know, if you have a really great strike, and keep pushing the action because it's very hard to move backwards while you're striking. But you saw something from Ewell. He was doing that really well. He who is like water. Yeah. So third round in the books here. We're going to render a judge's decision. Pit side. And Bas, how did you see the entirety of that fight? I know you think there might be a fourth. But there might be a fourth. It depends if someone took that second round. That's the thing. Let's take a look at the replays of that third and final round. Talk us through them. He's moving around here. Moving back. I mean, Elvis is really using the pit wall. or oh, that a capoeira kick. And Fortunately for him, it was not to the head, he got caught. Escudero, the heart of moving forward, I mean, again, I'm repeating myself, but that's the way to stop a striker, a good striker. And, and you can stop him by throwing hard shots, that's what I mean, because you need the floor in order to put your body weight into a punch. So I'm not saying that you can't get knocked out, look, there's the backflip. <laughs> of course you can knock somebody out with an arm punch. Probably should have saved those till after the decision, maybe. 
Uh, do sorry. Should have saved those till after the decision. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, what they tell I mean, him. If, they if, tell him now we're going to a fourth right, round. You just did 26 back. If you can do that, where was the volume? I feel like he yeah, barely yeah. threw a strike in the third round. Yeah. Kind of was just riding it out. It was yeah. really weird. And not smart, exactly like you're saying here, because if it goes to a fourth, he wasted a lot of energy. Look, it's to 10 yeah. backflips. Yeah, you know, no. when I did the root and jump, right? I sometimes would get oh, more tired oh. from a root and jump. No way, we're yeah. going to a fourth <laughs> round. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him now saying to himself, why? Why did I do those backflips? Oh. Oh, he's not going to do it. He's saying no. No what? Yeah, no what? It is a split decision. No what? Oh, he's we're saying no. One more round. No, he's got. He did not, he clearly did not know the rules. You've got to do a four. He's looking at us like, oh. He shouldn't have done the flips. That's yeah. what it is, those backflips. He doesn't want to do it now. Wow. See, he, he, it was his plan to do those backflips after the fight. He forgot there was a fourth round. Yep. Clearly. And burned the rest of his, his altitude. Set. Now he's buying himself more time with the tape coming off the gloves. Oh, man. But you see, Escudero is walking around. He's ha having trouble on his legs. Right, so leg. we've got to remind you, under the sudden death rules in this fourth and final round, the rest of the fight is null and void. It comes entirely down to this fourth round. I mean, that's got to help Escudero. He was much more active in that third round. That was nothing from Alves. His legs are looking beat up, though. Yeah, that's why he's switching now. Smart. But now he should chop it right away if I was Alves. Yeah, yeah I mean... And Escudero should be attacking. He's just waiting for the moment, waiting for the moment. Nope, somebody's got to get active here. Yeah. Otherwise, think, otherwise we're going to a rebirth fifth round. <laughs> I think that Elvis is taking a few moments to catch his breath, and he might start fighting like in 15 seconds, like when the last two minutes start. Yeah, one of them's got to throw a strike here, otherwise. That's true. Referee Mike Beltran's going to have to uh, warn them. Very strange performance from Alves. It is. It's just, just bizarre. He came out with such fury and power and was attacking that lead leg, and it just, I don't know if it's the altitude again. Like, what was that, boss? That, that he, takes he, energy. He, yep. Hey, stop! Oof. Is the ref speaking in Portuguese? Yeah. Speaking in or, or Spanish, 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 because Spanish. he's... It's a little bit of the same. From Brazil, yes, yeah, well... Uh, that's a good shot to the body from Alves. He's actually throwing some volume now. Now he's throwing. Just like Boss said, he waited a little bit. Minute 24 to go. Oh, I don't... Well, the referee didn't initially deem it was low. We're going to get... Uh, this. Is, well, here's the thing. He's yeah. going to get up to five minutes to recover now because the referee has called a stop. So we need to see a replay of this, but this could be really good gamesmanship from Alves in uh, playing the rule set to buy himself more time. Let's see. Let's take a look here. Oh, that's, no, that's no. bottom of the stump. That's right on the belly button. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, let's, while we're waiting for him to recover, let's check in with our uh, team. Mr. President, what are you thinking so far? Man, this is really crazy. Like I said, you're battling your opponent in an environment. He was outclassing his opponent in the first round. And hey, I think the altitude got to him. And Efren with that Mexican mentality and heart, he absolutely took over. And this is going to be one of the biggest upsets, I feel, of the weekend. So hey, good for him. Great performance from Efren Escudero. Yeah, still a minute left in this bout. So uh, no counting of chickens yet. But it's certainly looking that way. Yes. Oh, wow. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. And that's a good kick from Alves. You say he's got to go to the well on that again. One of those kicks, I wouldn't walk for a month. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> well, you, you can't strike from a mounted position. Ooh, 40 seconds. Again, the, the corner of Escudero is just willing him forward and saying, just, just come forward and throw. But he's still putting respect on Alvis' punches because, strangely, they're still there. The power's still there. He's just not able to throw as many. It's so wild, right? It's very, it's very hard to understand. 
because when he throws it, it's a hard, pow very powerful punch. Yeah, I think we're all a little bit confused by the performance of, of Rafael Alves tonight. It may be in this round that he's done enough, but I've got to say, overall, yeah, it's a bit of a lackluster fourth round. See if he wants to do some more backflips now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, where are the backflips now? Let's go ahead, check in with Robin Black, get his thoughts on this one. Guys, the jury is still out on who won this, but Alves was trying to bake this delicious cake. The crust was his athleticism and horsepower and speed early getting to him. He wanted the cake to be that damage to the leg to slow his man down, and he wanted that icing to be those backflips as he celebrated a win. That icing was not tasty, and it could be very, very stupid, because you need a sprinkle of wisdom and life experience to understand that fight isn't over. Should he lose this fight, it will be a disgusting cake. Should he win it, that cake will taste not so sweet. Bro. Dude, I love Robin, man. Bro. That was awesome. Bro, how do you just a Canadian out, friend like, has a way with words. that? Like, where does that come from? Yeah. Dude? Alves was kind of like a hot dog in this fight. All pork, <laughs> wanted to get in between the buns of Escudero. Like, what was going on? Where does he come I mean, up I'm with that? I mean, I'm down for all the food metaphors <laughs> you, you want to bring. I'm starving. <laughs> Well, let's go ahead and bring our fighters back down to the pit. The commission and the judges have rendered a decision on that sudden death fourth round. Let's see who's getting their hand raised. Oh, this is... rounds, your winner by decision. Out of the blue corner, Rafael Gisson. Very, very close fourth round there. You did just get the feeling that he'd thrown a little bit more volume yep. over. And, and of course, that, that big leg kick was the most significant damaging thing yep. of that fourth round. He was still throwing power, power. Yeah. Uh, and, and although Escudero came forward, he wasn't throwing. I mean, now's when you do the backflips. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> well, Tiago, uh, sorry, Rafael Alves. Uh, Victorious here in the pit tonight as his cornerman lifts him up. He's successful in his debut, moves his total pro record to 22 wins as he heads back to Brazil, a happy man. And he's now going to jog around the pit to... He is, oh, he's getting a quick word with Alex Pereira, but he's going to join Dean Thomas pit side to see how that fight went. Rafael, my man, you are a tremendous talent. You're out there doing backflips, but the fight wasn't over <laughs> yet. Did you think that it was over and you almost refused to come out for the fourth round? What was going on in your mind? Guys. I just wanted to think for him. God. God is everything in my life. Thank you, my God. Thank you, Karata Comet, for that opportunity. I feel very happy. Wow. So I don't understand because he has three rounds. So when the guy follow one more, I feel what the fuck, man. I give you here five back flip. You feel what the fuck? I'm very tired. So, Viva Mexico! <laughs> That's all you have to say. <laughs> Whatever you say, end with Viva Mexico. Muchas gracias por la oportunidad. Yo estoy muy contento por esa por esa oportunidad de estar aquí en México, una ciudad muy linda, a las personas muy queridas. Yo estoy muy feliz por esa oportunidad. Dejo quiero hablar una cosa para ustedes. Yo no conozco el corazón de ustedes, pero Dios sí. Esa vida, mira. Tudo nessa vida passa. Morrer, fama, plata, tudo passa. Pero a única coisa que se aqueda aqui dentro é o amor de Deus, do Espírito Santo. Aproveita a oportunidade para os que estão peleando, para ser um espelho para as pessoas pequenas. Porque hoje o mundo está muito diferente. Muitas graças. Tem que só mais. De toma. Aí que viu o Rita que dá o não. What the fuck? <risos> Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise. Put your hands together for the showman, Rafael Alves. Well, let's go ahead, check in one more time with 
Oh, okay. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Where was all this energy? <laughs> Where so was all proud. this energy? Mike is very Everton confused. Fidero fought unbelievably, and Rafael, this, he didn't understand the rules coming out to the fourth round. He didn't want to do it, and then he flipped the switch, and he brought that heart out there, and he fought the fourth round, and he won the fight. It's tremendous. People don't understand. Flipping that switch on and off, being in fight mode and not fight mode, it's tough. And he was able to do it in front of the whole crowd, and he got it done. Congrats, Rafael Alves. Yes, congrats to Rafael indeed. Uh, let's take a look at some of the replays from those four rounds. And Bass, uh, give us your thoughts overall on the fight. A lot of acrobatics, but a kind of perplexing performance. It, it was. It was weird, especially after the first round. Oh, here we go. Yes, this is just <laughs> the before highlights. the sudden over that round. Let's do it four times. And like I said, you know, sometimes when I did the, the jump, my route to jump after, oh, I was more tired of that. Those kicks, they set the pace, but then he steered away from it in round number two which blew us our minds, right? Because it was very super effective. And this was already later in the fight. This is when it was getting tired. And Escudero, man, he's just an animal. He just keeps on coming, a lot of heart. You know, you, I, there's no real losers tonight. Every fight I've seen, both exactly. both opponents have, have fought really great fights. And Escudero yep. had a lot of heart. He was very aware of the fight, what was happening. You know, it's it's it'll, it'll be interesting to see where he goes after this as well, because he put on a great show, a great yeah. fight. Boss Rutten here. Thanks for watching Karate Combat. Don't forget to subscribe. Awesome.